Welcome to Rediscovering Egypt. In the 19th century, the increased intensity of tourism and excavations, as well as the outflow of antiquities to other countries, threatened Egypt's archaeological heritage. Egyptians took part in this destruction by ransacking sites for artifacts to sell, quarrying stones from ancient monuments, and removing sebak, ancient mud bricks, to reuse for their own purposes. major step in conserving Egypt's heritage was taken in 1858 when the Viceroy of Egypt created the Antiquities Service. Supported by a team of foreign scholars, Auguste Mariette exerted an iron grip on the service. He carried out his work across Egypt and into Nubia, intervening on almost every major site. Aware of the necessity of keeping unearthed artifacts in Egypt, Mariette requested a museum be created for that purpose in 1858. This museum was the ancestor of the Egyptian Museum. Gaston Maspero, Mariette's successor, expanded and reorganized the Antiquities Service and instigated laws regulating the export of artifacts. French scholars ran the service until it passed into Egyptian hands in the 1950s. As of the mid-19th century, Egyptology was fast becoming a recognized discipline within both private institutions and learned societies. French architect, archaeologist, and former researcher Jean-Claude Golvin now specializes in the artistic reconstruction of ancient cities and monuments. To date, he has created more than 800 drawings, 
which include three volumes focusing on the reconstitution of ancient Egypt. His work is exquisitely detailed and can be found in books and museums around the world. 